Okay, see, when you have a segment with two women, we ask each other if we have lipstick on our teeth or on our mouth. Yeah. That's what we do, right? Mashed potatoes in the teeth, lipstick on the chin. A little you bit know. of gravy. I know. Well, I put lipstick on. I took a cup of, drink of coffee, and you know what's next, yes, ladies. It's it goes there. here. Yeah, exactly. Especially with the red. I always get it on the teeth, I know. Too, I so. know. So, it's anyway. Welcome to uh, Girl Talk here on Wish <laughs> TV. Anyway, let's talk at Thanksgiving. You've made Thanksgiving. a gravy. We have a stuffing, mashed potatoes, and then a cute little turkey. Yes. I'm so excited about these. So, uh, you know, we work with USA Pears, which is all of America's Pacific Northwest pear growers. And one of the great <laughs> pieces of content that we're getting ready to publish is so on the ProduceMoms.com is ways to, you know, celebrate Thanksgiving with pears mm -hmm. and specifically like this really fun pear centerpiece. So we have a kid friendly centerpiece. And then also, I, I think just, you know, it's it's always important whenever you're talking about pears. They are so naturally elegant. Just a bowl of pears in the middle of your yeah, table pretty. really sets the tone and the the natural colors of pears are perfect for the holidays and the fall season. Um, and really, before we dive into the recipes, yeah. let's talk how to know if your pear is ripe. It, yeah, it's that press test. You're right. Yes. Yes. See, I remember. Yes. Okay, Lori, I every remember. time I cook with pears on this show, I, I remind folks, because it is so important. So you the check the neck, so up by the stem of the pear, and you want to press with your thumb. And if it yields to slight pressure, that means that the pear is ready to eat. If it's a little firm, like the one I'm I squeezing think this right now, a little firm. So same. So that means that it's going to need maybe one or two more days. Okay. And there are naturally ethylene-producing fruits um, that you can put your pears with. So avocados, apples, um, bananas. Those oh. are all fruits where if you put them in the fruit bowl, it'll speed up the ripening process of whatever else is oh, in that fruit that? bowl, like your pears. So they so, help each other out. Yeah, and pears How are cool never, they're never picked ripe. Um, so the pears at the grocery store are meant, unless the grocer themselves is ripening them, yeah. pears are actually meant to be ripened at home for a couple of days. Well, and I think this would be something the kids would love to help you out with in the kitchen. Totally. And it's just adorable. Okay, so, so that's cute. All right. We've made gravy. We've got stuffing. We pre-made a stuffing. This is from USA Pears website, usapears.com. Uh, yes. Dot org. Sorry, usapears.org. <laughs> or dressing. Do you, do you say yeah. stuffing or Stuff dressing? I, that, you know what? That would be a good question that would today. Be a good, wait, we should do that tomorrow. I... I say stuffing, but this really isn't stuffing because it's not inside of the cavity of the them. bird. Yeah, so this know. is technically a dressing. Um, but it's really, it's all your classic flavors, and it has boss pears, which are those brown ones. All right. Ooh, you so got this, stuff in the oven. Yes. All right. So this is the beginning of Oof. a plant-based gravy. All right. This is something that was made famous. Um, Look at all ooh. this. Carrots, cauliflower. Yes. Are these boss pears? pears, yep. And uh, careful, because that's hot. Okay. Um, so this, and then it's got so, all sorts of different seasonings in it. I use smoked paprika, a um, little bit of poultry seasoning, salt and pepper, olive oil, um, and some vegetable stock. So this Yum. actually became very famous last year during Thanksgiving. One of the major like food publications did it. And you just roast your veggies to the point where, like, you think they're probably a little burnt. Like, honestly, yeah. these need a little bit like, longer. I can just eat it just like this. I know, right? We added pears to give it a little bit natural sweetness. And then you take everything from the roasting pan and you put it into your blender. Okay. Okay. So oh, I've got onions a, too. I see. Yep. I there's onions. There's garlic cloves. So you just put everything in a blender. Or if you don't, if you don't have a high speed blender that can, you know, really get it thin, you can use an immersion blender here. Yeah. All right. So into the blender it goes, and then the secret ingredient when you're making anything, um, you know, you got to give it that umami flavor mm -hmm. that is oftentimes, you know, something that we get through meats. So if you're not using mushrooms as one of your veggies that you're roasting, then a great way mm. to duplicate that is through this miso paste, oh, which is okay. just a soybean paste. Um, and it's, so put like a tablespoon of that in there. Okay. And then you just give it a whirl in the blender. Oh, and I did do some soaked cashews. So these are raw cashews, hmm. and that just gives a little bit of creaminess. Uh, so raw okay. cashews that I soaked in water for like two hours. Okay. All right. About uh, 30 seconds, Lori. All right. What well, else you got for us? You're going to blend that up, add some veggie stock, and then a tip that I have for folks. So okay. this is one. This is, this is the vegan gravy here. All right. Here's a tip. If you feel like it's too thick, remember those potatoes we boiled in the first segment? Yes. I reserved a little bit of the potato water. So uh -huh. this is a tip for you when you're making your, your gravy on Thanksgiving morning, whether it's 100% plant-based like what we got going here or your traditional one using, mm -hmm. you know, the, the drippings from the turkey pan. Okay. You can reserve a little bit of your starchy potato water to thin it out. So that's a great tip. And then you just ladle it, on your, ladle it on your mashed potatoes, put it on your 
stuffing slash dressing. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Everything well, the good news so good. is when we wrap, I've got food for everyone who's here. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, George Mallet, did you hear that? Food for everyone while Lori is here. You I, can't beat it. No, you absolutely cannot beat it. That's why we have Lori Taylor in the house.